sales test coming up and you need some motivation, some ideas on how to revise, then join me in this video and revise with me. I'm gonna go through some of the top ways to revise for sales and you can watch me doing it. So I'm gonna go through four different strategies of what you could do to revise for sales. And number one is one of my favorites, it is blurting. So let's jump into it. What blurting is, is when you draw or write down everything you can remember for a topic in a particular time frame, And you can't look at your notes for this, it's testing what you can remember. When the time's up, you then use your notes or textbook to fill in in a bright color what you missed off. So let's jump to it. I'm going to be blurting now, testing my knowledge of cells. So I've set myself the challenge of drawing and labeling an animal cell, drawing and labeling a prokaryotic cell, and drawing and labeling a plant cell. So why not try this with me? Grab yourself some paper, do yourself a little blurt, and then check from mine at the end. So the next technique is active recall. And if you haven't already got my active recall workbook, then this is such a great way to streamline your revision and really check that you know the key concepts. So that's what I'm gonna be doing as my next step in the revision. So these are the pages I've got on the cells topic, making sure that you know the different organelles, their functions, how to study cells as well. And this would be my next step, completing the active recall workbook for the relevant topic. And there's different ways you can choose to complete this. You can do this test in your knowledge and do it all from memory. And then it comes with the answers so you can then mark in bright color what you missed off. And then a bit like with a blurt, you can then complete it again at a later stage and then you should find that you've remembered more. Or you could do this alongside my notes or your notes and complete what you can and then refer to the notes as you need it. But the beauty of it being an electronic document is you can complete it as many times as you like. Number three is good old flashcards. And flashcards would be such a good technique for this topic because you have loads of organelles. You have, I can't remember the top of my head, but I'm sure it's at least 10 organelles for eukaryotic cells that you need to know. Plus you've got about four or five extra for prokaryotic cells. Straight away, you're gonna have almost like 20 flashcards there where you have the name of the organelle, the function on the other side. And for this one, I recommend doing picture flashcards as well. So then have another set and for each organelle, either print out a picture if you don't like drawing or just draw the organelle on one side and have the name on the other. Because for the cells topic, not only do you need to know the structure and function of each organelle, you need to be able to recognize them on a diagram also. So that would be brilliant on the flashcards. So take a look, here is my set of flashcards. And as you watch the video, you'll be able to see how I like to use flashcards as well, using something called the Lightner system. Now the final step in revision should always be exam questions. Don't make the mistake of starting on exam questions. You shouldn't be doing those until you have really checked your knowledge, consolidated it, to make sure that you can remember and understand enough 
to make the exam questions worthwhile. Because if you start them too soon, it can actually be quite demotivating trying the exam questions and not knowing what the answers are. So do all of those first steps, then have a go at the exam questions, maybe to start with not in exam conditions, just completing what you can and then using notes where you have to, and then move on to timed conditions with your notes then move on to time conditions and no notes. And if you do need some questions, then I have a whole topic two booklet of questions for free in my assessment bundle, and you can find some sales questions there. Those are my four key strategies of what I would do to revise for a sales test over the course of a week or two weeks, ideally. So let's kick start your revision and go and watch this video next. This is the video that I have summarizing all of topic two and the first section is sales. So watch that video, start creating your flashcards and you should see some real improvements. But for now, that is the end of my revision video. If you have liked it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos.